Hey everyone, it is Wednesday, June 13th, 2018, and it's time to go to work on music. It's been an awesome day, I'm in a really good place, and excited for a productive session as usual. Today's session is going to be split in two, I took some earlier meetings in the day than I typically do just to help some folks out, and uh, so I'll be doing some work now, and then coming back later tonight and finishing. Um, right now, I'm going to hit some online classes, update you guys with what's going on there. I started the home mastering master class <laughs> last night, and uh, I'm really, really excited about it. I've been wanting to take this class for a really long time, and I'm really looking forward to bust, uh, building up my mastering chops and remastering the, the first Aeon ZP full circle, and just, you know, seeing what I can, what kind of sound I can get out of that and just use it as a practice run. And uh, I really want to get that out as soon as possible so I can start um, flexing my marketing muscles and just making, you know, early mistakes with that, so that by the time I finish my current project that uh, is still in the incubation phase, I've got some um, good successes, some good mistakes under my belt, and I can do a better job on the marketing, promotion, distribution, all that stuff. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Let me know if you have any thoughts or questions as we go through the session, otherwise I'll update you at the end with what we accomplish. Let's do it. When I play back this song, which is one that I'm going to be mastering in the first video masterclass, you'll see that the meters are averaging around zero, peaking up to kind of plus one, plus two. Alright, really good meetings. Uh, back in the groove here. Gonna hit some online classes. I'm gonna knock through some of the uh, mastering class. Maybe finish up another vlog or two. And if I'm feeling really good, I'll do some more takes on the uh, Aeon's bass line. Or start writing the first verse. But uh, just gonna dive in here for about an hour and a half and uh, see how I do. All right, awesome day overall. Got a solid three hours in across the span of the day. Not perfect, definitely not what I'm getting for long term, but uh, overall solid considering the constraints I, I faced. Um, this morning, I got into the online class front, and because I finished the Art of Vocal Production yesterday, which was a big win, I jumped straight into the Home Mastering Masterclass. It's kind of a mouthful. <clears throat> And it was super fun. It's just, I've been waiting to start it for a long time. And it's, he's kicking it off with some really killer information about uh, balancing reference levels of tracks, which is something I knew was important, but didn't really have a great tool or a great uh, technique or system that I used to do that. So I learned a little bit about uh, level meters and VU meters and uh, checked out some of the paid options out there and, and strategized about what I'll do in the future. After that, I got into a good drum practice, and I'm just looking for the right balance of uh, mental visualization practice and actual physical on the instrument practice, because um, while my visualization practice yesterday and the day before has really helped me when I sat down to play the drums today, it definitely made a really positive difference, um, my body did feel a little different sitting down at the actual drums versus just visualizing it. So it is still a proxy. It's, it's good to remember that, um, even though it's a really useful tool. So I'm going to keep searching for the right balance there. Um, from there, it, uh, I listened to some of my baseline takes for the new Aeons record from yesterday, and overall, they were good. It's headed in the right direction. The guide track I used to um, get some 16 a really crisp 16th note pattern is actually really cool. It's a really cool sound. So I might actually end up incorporating it into the track and it'll be great for an intro. Um, and the takes I did with it were really good. It turned out that there was no one take that was like perfect. So there was one take that was really, really great. And then the very end, I actually, the first time I used the guide track, I made it too short, which was just a terrible error. I won't do that again. It's a good mistake. Uh, good lesson learned. And so I flubbed it at the very end, even though the rest of the take was, so it would have been done otherwise. But, um, you know, it's all good. I learned, and uh, I just comped it together with a take right after that, and it sounds really good that way. Um, I don't know how I feel about comping it, even though it's like three notes or something like that, so I'll probably come in tomorrow or the next day and uh, do a couple more takes, see if I can nail one perfect start to finish just to get that integrity, and, you know, if I can, and if it's just, if I'm spinning my wheels and wasting time, then um, I'll just comp them, and it's, it's really not that big of a deal, but I'd really love to not do that, and I know I can, I can if I put the time in, I can get it right. So, um, that's great. That's almost done. From there, I took off, had some meetings. Those went well, came back, was a little tired, but got to another hour or so of the, uh, the master class finished the first week video of instruction, bought a VU meter, which I'm really excited about, and it's really nice to have a great tool for that, and I got into Logic and I actually balanced uh, several reference tracks that I'm going to be using for mastering, um, and yeah, just it's, it's really amazing to start to be able to compare them at the same loudness level, and I've always known that's important, but I never really had a tool or technique for it, so I feel like I'm really growing with that, and um, then I just was finishing up by reading some of the articles he assigns in the first week, so I'm really, really stoked about the class, and it's really amazing just to be learning more about what makes great music sound great, and it's obviously something I'm really passionate about and really interested in, and I'm really hungry to apply to my own recordings and my own music and, and really make them sound killer and professional and just have the emotional impact that I've always envisioned them having, so I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are out there grinding towards your goals, enjoying the process. That's what I'm out here doing, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for more. Can't wait.